everyone! Okay, so you're probably looking at me wondering, why does she have mini mask things on her head? She's not at Disney World. She's filming a video, last time I checked. But, um, there's nothing wrong with being a kid. There's nothing wrong with wearing mini mask ears whenever I want. That's not true. I'm wearing these because I'm filming a video about 11 reasons why I'm still a giant kid at art. I am still a big kid. Like, honestly, there's so many reasons why I just thought I'd make a video about it and I couldn't resist wearing these because they're like my favorite little kid thing ever. And I bought these when I was like 17, so I really was still a kid. But now I'm not, so. 11 reasons why I'm a big kid. One, I still love Disney films. Like, I think everyone loves Disney films, but like, if I have the opportunity to watch like The Lion King, The Little Mermaid, Toy Story, any of those, my butt's sitting down and watching Netflix. Like, when I went to Disney for spring break, actually, I watched Pocahontas and Pocahontas 2 with my friend. Her reactions were hilarious, and I was just like, I love this movie, I know all the songs, this is ridiculous, why do I know all this, but oh wait, I'm like a child at heart, so I know all this stuff. But that was my thing. It was a bit ridiculous. I love Disney films. I don't know, I need to meet somebody who's like truly not a fan of Disney films, because I need to show them the light. Two, I love onesies. Who doesn't love a onesie? I bought one from One Piece the Norwegian brand, and I love it. It's my favorite thing on the planet. It's so soft and so warm. Why wouldn't you buy a onesie? Um, excuse, if you're judging me, you need to go buy one because I've got like two or three now and they're my favorite things. You will see frequent selfies with them once it starts to cool down and I'm in school and I don't want to go anywhere and wear clothes. Three, I hate the doctor's office. I'm a doctor's kid and I hate the doctor's office. Like, every time I go and I'm like, have to get a finger prick so I can test my blood for my iron levels, I'm like, <laughs> again, mom, let me blow my hand, I don't want to do it. Wait, is it done? Is it done? That didn't even hurt. And so I hate the doctor's office. Like, that's my legitimate reaction every time. And I'm like, I'm so afraid of needles, it's ridiculous. I was that kid who would run and run away from the doctor, like get out the door and like run screaming down the hall and just get lost and like be caught in and my mom have to drag me back in the room. It's traumatizing. But I hate the doctor. I don't like it. I just don't like going. I'm like, Ugh. Yeah. Or I love working with kids. It's probably not a reason why I'm still a big kid at heart, but it's pretty much a reason why I'm still very like Disney oriented and why I have like I have to think a lot like a kid so I have to like be like okay if I was four what would I like? Frozen, Dr. McStuffins, I don't know what it is, the one I did show with the little girl the doctor, it looks like a really cute show, um, the new princess one, I forgot, I don't watch like little kid Disney shows, I watch like, my phone needs to stop beeping, but I watch like um, like, older days and shit, like, that's a raven, Kim Possible, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, like, me working with kids is really helpful because then I'm like, oh, if I was four, I'd be like, all of this list of stuff. And it kind of just helped me, like, keep in touch with my little kid self. It kind of forces me to, but it's also really kind of fun doing that. Five. Frozen is my favorite thing on the planet outside of The Little Mermaid. No joke. I will watch Frozen all day long and I will listen to the soundtrack the entire way at Orlando. I think I have it on Spotify so I can listen to it whenever I want and it's amazing. I love it. Like, and D1 from Snowman, of course, is my favorite song because it's just cute and adorable and I love Frozen. Frozen's adorable. It's like my favorite film out right now. Not out right now, but like popular right now because kids don't really know like Winnie the Pooh, Little Mermaid. They don't know all the old classic ones. Like they know them in passing, but they don't know like Oh, Little Mermaid, Ariel, Flounder, and Prince Eric. They don't know Winnie the Pooh, Piglet. And I feel like it makes me sad saying that, but they don't. Um, but yeah, Frozen's my favorite film. I love Frozen. It's cute. It's great. It's adorable. Six. I'm worried about the future 24-7. I'm going off to school now. Sad face. 
but I'm going off to school so I have to kind of like worry about my future and what I'm going to do with the rest of my life. Like do I want to go into design? Do I keep wanting to be a blogger and try and become a really popular blogger? That's like the dream. Um, do I want to be a business person? Do I want to go into art? Do I want to go into languages and linguistics and move abroad and work in the embassy or something weird? I don't know. Do I want to do all that? I worry about that because I'm like, I have no idea what I want to do. <laughs> I have no idea what I want to do with my life, and I, I, I kind of got to figure that out sometime in the next four years. Seven. I'm super active, like, all the time. I'm either bouncing up and down, I'm doing calf raises, I'm doing yoga, that's a lie. But <laughs> I'm always trying and doing something that keeps me active, and anyone who's around kids knows that they have, like, an endless supply of energy. After working with kids this summer, it's just kind of like given me this giant supply of energy that I tap into because I had to meet their level or exceed their level every day. So I kind of just can't, I kind of like have this leftover reservoir of energy that I just haven't tapped into yet. The summer kind of sat back because I just kind of sat and watched Daredevil and The Flash and TV shows all summer long. There was summer after work, still. That was a lot of energy I needed and still some of it's here, so I'm like, okay, let's go running, let's go do kickboxing, let's go to the gym, let's go do something fun. Eight. Anyone who's a girl knows that when you were little, you tried on your mom's makeup. Most people figured it out by the time they were about 15, 16. I still suck. I can't put on makeup for anything for my life. I always have to go to like the matte counter and I'm like, can you help me please? And they're like, you have to buy something. I'm like, okay, I don't care. I'll buy mascara or something. The only thing I can do, I can do mascara and I can do eyeliner sometimes. It depends on the day. But a lot of the time I'm just like, um, foundation, too many shades, foundation, powder, eyeshadow. I don't know how to do this. I give up. Um, but yeah, that's me. I just kind of give up because I'm like, I can't do this. I suck at it. Because it's like, especially with my skin tone, it's just hard because I have like a golden undertone, sometimes red, depends on if I'm out of the sun or not. So I have like this really weird skin tone and it's like impossible to actually find something that works and I'm like, this sucks. What is that? I'm like, what is up with this? Nine. Packing has given me a lot of bubble wrap. And I am not even apologetic to say that I'm still a little kid because I still pop bubble wrap like there is no tomorrow. It's amazing. I love it. It's so much fun. And it's such a stressful relief. It's just like... Sorry. Ten. I, as you can see above, I love Disney World. I, would, I lived in California when I was little. I was born there, actually. But I moved to Georgia when I was younger. So I grew up in around Disney all the time. I grew up knowing what it was, loving it, just having a ball with it. And... Now I'm like, I can't go every weekend, but it's still like a major part of my life. And I love going to Disney World, Disneyland, Disneyland Paris, Disneyland Tokyo, any of them I want to go. Because they all have something different and something new about them that makes it fun and a new experience every time you go. Because every time you go, unless you go every day, but every time you go, something's different. There's a new person working there, there's a new show, there's something going on that you haven't seen before. So it's just kind of like a fun way to like be that little kid on the inside. And if I ever go to Disney again, you'll be sure to see Instagram pictures. That's not even an option. 11. My final reason why I'm still a big kid at heart is because I'm a dreamer. I dream a lot. It's a good thing. I believe in myself and my dreams, which a lot of kids do because a lot of kids are like, I want to be a doctor, I want to be a surgeon. And sometimes school gets in the way of that. Sometimes school makes you think that you're not that smart or makes you think that you're not as good as something, someone else or something else. But I'm still a little kid because I still have those dreams. I still believe in myself in those dreams. Like, I want to be a designer and I want to have my blog and my blog be really popular. So I'm going to do whatever it takes to get to that no matter what anybody says or does to try and deter me from that. So, that's just me and my thing.
I hope you enjoyed this video and if you're a little kid at heart, please feel free to tell me in the comments below. I would love to know why you think you're still a little kid and please subscribe and like, give me a thumbs up, a like, something else, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, etc, etc, they're all below and I hope you have a great day. Bye!